Hi, Amy Hunt here, home business expert. And what we're going to learn today is called zonkeywords.com. And basically what it is, is how to find keywords to list a product. If you want more tips and tricks on home business, subscribe to my channel, enable notifications so you get the latest videos, like, and please comment if you have any questions. Thanks and see you on the other side. Okay, so what is zonkeywords.com as you can see up here? It is a part of a service that if you go to page oneify.com, you will get this service. And so basically, if you want to rank a product on Amazon, this is the place to go. So it's called page oneify, so you want to get on page 1 of the product search on Amazon. Um, and you're going to go to rank my product. So what it will take you to is a page where you can actually service them. You can get a keyword launch. Um, you can use their services to for them to get um, pay-per-clicks. And then um, the next level which you want to talk to them about is actually setting everything up. So you can see over here on the side what they offer. Um, and I'm going to just show you, uh, and as well, you can pass this on and you can uh, make a little commissions off of what uh, you, you refer people to. So let's uh, go, you saw in my other video how to do a reverse ASIN. Now I'm going to do a keyword search with Zonky Keywords. All right, so it's very similar to what you saw yesterday. This is my keyword search. Um, and what... You know, my product is a water alarm, the Sphinx water alarm, and I'm new to Amazon with it. And what you can see here is what's called a Ninja IQ score. So basically, is there competition and are people looking for it? Um, it's a medium, has a medium search volume and a low number of people competing for it. So if you scroll down here, it's similar to, uh, it's very easy to use in summer. Now the decision you'll have to make, and, and this is where going to page one of five would help because it'll help you make these decisions, is do you want to go for the number of monthly searches? Do you want to go for the number of um, sales? That sort of thing. So for me, a water sensor alarm, um, that's the keyword. And I'm going to show you some more here at the estimated search volume and the Ninja IQ. So that's their rating, basically. So there's not a ton of competition for water sensor alarm. A water sensor alarm with Wi-Fi would be even better because the score is a 91 versus a 73. So the higher or closer to 100, the best or the better. Uh, 100, I would assume, would be nobody has a product out there with that. Uh, water sensor alarm. So what you can do is you have two options. You can go to the Ninja IQ. I'm double clicking that. And you can go here and search what has the highest rating and then look down here and see what corresponds to the product that you're trying to sell. If you're trying to figure out a product to sell um, and you don't really have one, then you can just go here and see that the Ninja IQ score is a 98, which would make for a good product to sell if you have access to that product. That's where sourcing would be a good idea um, for like wherever whatever this uh, product is. So you can put in as many ideas that you have. And I have some other search techniques that you can look on my channel or look in the description below for other videos. Um, but for me in particular, I have a certain product that I want to look for. All right. So that's one way you can do it. Um, if you want to look for the, uh, the estimated monthly search volume, like this is the number of people that are searching, um, you want to click on this column, like see the, the ranking here, and then you can look for keyword searches that closely relate to the words that you put in. So hopefully this has explained a little bit on how to either find a product using page one of five and within that Zon keywords. Um, look for other videos in my in my description below uh, for other ideas on how to find products to search for and sell. Uh, in addition to that, you can also click on Advanced Filter, and you can um, not only just click these columns, but you can click in here and do um, whatever numbers you want. Like if you want um, the minimum and then the maximum monthly searches. I don't know why you would want to limit that, but you can plug them in there, IQ, etc. You can hide that. Now, if you want to export this, so you have to reference it later, 
Remember, you know, you get a seven day trial free, so you might want to export and save it for a particular item if that's something that interests you. If you're interested in a package, um, you can go up here to pricing and you want to maybe maybe uh, you want to start with a yearly membership and I'm sure that's cheaper than monthly um, but you can also go to monthly and just try it out for a month um, you can get a, a little feel for the the software and go from there if you find that it works then go to the annual save some money um, and then the other thing that you want to do is if you go back to the page where you did your keyword search, you can go to the country and you can change the country and has this uh, available in all these countries. So if that's one of your countries, you can click on it and it will be in, it will uh, target those Amazon sites and those keyword areas. So thanks for watching. This is Amy Hunt, home business expert. Please subscribe if you want more information like this and latest up uh, uploaded videos. You need to click the notification bar. Subscribe. Like, comment, thanks for watching. So this is my first time using Zon keywords. I want to find a reverse ASIN, um, which is basically the identifier for Amazon information. I'm going to look up my actual product on Amazon. And the point being that I need it to... So my water alarm is called Sphinx Water Alarm. And it does not have many sales. It's a new product. I'm going to do a search on that. I'm going to find it. Why is it Amazon? And what what it comes up with, Sphinx Water Alarm, what it comes up with are two sponsored water alarms. So that's the competitors. And um, if I scroll down here, you're going to see my water alarm. So here's the other water alarm. There are two of them. So I'm going to actually click on this one. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get the ace in from it. It's my product. Copy it, and then I'm going to go design keywords. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to add it. The magical elves are working. So then I go to the next step. So get your product to page one on Amazon. Click here. So right now I want the top three competitor ASINs. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do a generic search for water alarm. There's two ways to do this. I can type in water alarm because I know that's what I want right there, or water alarm for basements. Um, either one. What this is is basically Amazon takes the top searches and plugs them in automatically. So this is what people are searching for. Number one, they're searching for water alarm. Number two, they're searching for water alarms for basement. Uh, water alarms battery operated so these are if you don't have like a keyword subscription this is the free way to figure out keywords on Amazon water alarm water alarms for base I'm just gonna click on water alarms and I'm gonna see what my competitors are now what you need to note is don't go to sponsored basically these people have paid to put their picture of their item above mine in a natural search okay this one here obviously doesn't even need to advertise because it's Amazon's choice. It's probably sold by Amazon. Um, and it's the number one selling product in water alarms. So they're my competitors. So I'm going to click on that. I could also click on the top ones, the ones that are uh, making ads. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for the ASIN for my competitor right here copy I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna plug it into 
that. And I'm going to do that for two more products. I'm going to pick one. Um, let me see. I want to keep it as a single item. So I'm going to go here to the leak bug. Do you see what I mean? Like my item is one item. I do have bu um, bundles where I sell them in groups, but I don't want to do that right yet. I just want to keep it as the single items because as, in terms of price points, uh, they're pretty similar when you keep it as a single item. Oh, isn't that cute? Um, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get the ASIN. Now the difference with my uh, water alarm compared to some of these other ones is commercial grade and mine is expandable. Like this one you can see is kind of fixed as in it only has one cord and it can't expand. Mine can expand up to 300 feet. Okay, so I'm going to go back. That one doesn't look like it expands at all. So. I've got to get these features out to the public so they know that there's a difference in my water alarm. All right, and here's another one. Um, yeah, that one's like a single. Now, another way to find out competitors, and I'll show you here in a minute, is using AMZ Scout, and that basically is a spy that goes behind the scenes to see the number of sales. And we're going to see how those this method versus Amazon Scout compare to each other. So I'm going to add that. Now I'm going to go to AMZ Scout, which is another piece of software that you can sign up for. And I'm going to sign in. And again, for any of the software, just look in my description below the video and you can find links to these. I just... Uh, appreciate any clicks on those links because they're my friend referral links. Okay, I'm going to click sign in and it's going to take me to the product database. This is a keyword explore product tractor and they have free products as well so I highly encourage you click on the link in my description and just sign up for free. They have free items, extensions, etc. Um, okay, so I typed in water alarm because um, what Amazon told me are top search words. Remember when back there I put a water alarm and it told me water alarm then water alarm ba basements. So what it's doing is showing you what items are selling under water alarm and how you know all the back inside information like if you were running this business you would know these details. So you can see up here on the top they give you all the columns of I guess particulars and the categories that you'd like to know about. Um, rank is important. Um, I would say estimated sales. All right, and then you can see who your competitors are. So estimated sales is the number of items that are sold. I would say these, like I said, the Glentronics is, is a top seller. And then um, what we find out is this one is a single unit is probably the next highest. So if you can compare that information to the information that I just had on Amazon, you can go back here to Zon Keywords and maybe I want to edit this. Maybe that doesn't look like it's the top. And let's see if I can just paste that in there. Edit. And here comes the fun part. I'm going to analyze it and the magic L's are working. So okay, now here's the, the results. Remember, this is on keywords, reverse ASIN. So, uh, wow, this is fantastic. So what I can do, let's see, I click on color results, rank. Okay, so green means perfect, yellow is not as good, orange and red keep getting worse. So this is my particular items. Um, and man, now I can see why I'm not selling anything, because I'm not ranked practically for anything. Okay, so this is my column for my water alarm. Average competitors rank. Okay, um, the obviously the lower the number, like if you're in first place or second place, like this one, that is you know excellent. And then search volume per month. So if I click on this column, it automates. Wow, the number of volume per month that it's being searched. So how do I apply this to a product that I have? or that I want to sell. I want to go over here 
and see what's relative to my product. Like just typing in Wi-Fi is not relative to my water alarm. Uh, it's not a smoke or carbon monoxide. It's not a smart things hub, deep state, wa water leak detector. So that's probably the closest thing that mine is right now. And it's getting over 2,672 searches per month. If I can put water leak detector and then water alarm in my keywords, my descriptions, my bullet points on Amazon, then in theory, if everything works out as well as I think it would, would with keyword research like this that we're doing right here, I should be able to rank my product. Now, you can, the date is uh, October 18th, 2018. What I'm going to do is use these uh, this information that I know and plug it into my Amazon product and see what results we have and how it changes over time. I'm also going to take this information and I'm going to plug it into my uh, website uh, called sphinxsecurity.com and see also if that would increase my uh, sales or at least my rank in that category. Now we haven't really talked about this side. Uh, basically it talks about the word frequency count. Um, in my opinion, um, I like to see a higher number here on the count of water. A lot of the search that is going on, the searching that's going on is just what we're doing right now, like speaking. You know how you turn your phone on and you push the speak button and you say, okay, Google or Amazon or Alexa, uh, please, you know, look for a water leak detector uh, for my basement or something like that. It's a lot more sentences versus the way it used to be when people couldn't type and they were just like really quick and to the point, which is like the water alarm. Um, that's shifting away from this more and turning into more of this water leak detector. So it has a little bit more word to it. Um, this is basically breaking down the words that are used in the search terms that get ranked. Okay, so water detector leak alarm. So I want to use water detector leak alarm and repeat that in my description, in my title, in my keyword search, in my tags, etc. These four words probably right here are a doable thing for me. If you enjoyed this and you want more videos, um, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you enable notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.